Hello guys, Pablo here. In this lesson we're gonna create our first table in this web application. Tables, table rows in Symfony are usually called entities where you're work when you're working with Doctrine ORM. So an entity would be a row of your table. For instance, if you have a users table, you can have a user an entity of, of type uh, user which will have get, get getters and setters for, for the user properties and you can create entities by using the command line as we saw earlier er, earlier when you do app console it'll show you all the available commands and the one we'll be using here is called doctrine generate entity So I'm going to use this command and we'll, um, we'll get this wizard to create our entity in an interactive manner. The entity shortcut name will be the, the, the full bundle name and then we'll give this one, it'll be workout. Configuration format will keep on using annotation. You're free to use uh, YML, XML, PHP. I find it easier to have less files to work with, so I prefer I prefer using annotation. And now we'll um, we'll be creating the fields of our table one by one, except for the ID field. The primary key will be automatically created. Let's create a field called occurrence date which is when I went on this workout and the type is just going to be date. Another field name could be activity and it'll be a string so we'll just leave that blank and the length will leave the default one. There's one more field that I want to add which is hours but I want to show you how to add it in the code so I'm going to leave it for now. Do you want to create an empty repository class? Well, yes, because in the repository classes you can add more um, queries and you can reuse them inside your application. So yes, I want it to, have, to be created. And I confirm that I want this to be generated. Now, if you've paid attention and followed through until now, you, you've probably noticed that we haven't really created the database yet. So I'm going to start by doing that show you that there's a command for that it's a doctrine database create you can um, create it this way or you can manually create it and now I want to carry out these updates um, in my in my database And I, f before carrying out the updates, I just want to see the SQL that would be executed. So by running this command, doctrine schema update, and then dump SQL, it's just going to show me the SQL code that will that will be executed. So you see that the table is being created with the corresponding fields that we defined. If that suits me, I can add force, and then that's actually executed. If I do that again, it's going to say that there's nothing to update. And if you check on your, on whichever um, manner that you're using to, to keep track of your local databases, you should be able to find the new database that we created with the corresponding tables and fields. Let's go look at the code. In our bundle, there's an entity folder, and we have, first of all, the, the repository class, which is empty, and then we have the actual entity, the workout entity. See how ORM annotations carry meaning that it has to do with which queries were executed. So we have um, the different columns, ID was created automatically, the name of the column was ID, it's a type of integer, it's generated automatically. Um, it's generated uh, with auto increment. 
and then we have our date occurrence date and the string with the length that we specified so I recommend you check now the documentation of, uh, of Symfony and the doctrine part to see what other options there are because there's a bunch of options that you can use in here and getters and setters were created for you automatically um, for all the properties that we defined and if we want to add a new um, property you can also use some uh, command line tools for that but I think it's important to show how this like how easy it is to add something new um, we want to have a, a field called hours the type is going to be float and that's that's pretty much it and since I wanna uh, so if I run now the command this will create that that field let's um, see it in action but since I want to use this hours field I should create um, getters and setters as well so I'm just gonna do that really quickly so all this is gonna do is just return hours you can also create this um, using command line there's one called generate entities and this um, should be enough to have um, the hours field up and running 